Some people say Shiraz. Some people say Shiraz. I don't know which one is right off the top of my head, but you know what? I do know I have one, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I have the 2017 Jacobs Creek Reserve Barossa Valley Shiraz, or Shiraz, depending on how you pronounce things. Let's get started. First of all, screw top, plus one. All right, so note to self, uh, before you start doing the wine review, make sure your uh, memory card isn't almost 100% full because that, that will really help you. Yeah, but let's get back to amateur hour apparently. So like I said, I poured my sample. I expect this to be purple and from the color standpoint, it's purple. Yeah, it's purple. It's a deep purple, no artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose standpoint, I'm getting a lot of plum, blackberry, a hint of raspberry, a little bit of like a chocolate, like an earth and what is this? Maybe like a nutmeg? Yeah, but it has a little uh, different character than uh, what I normally see on a Shiraz, a Shiraz. So let's go for the taste. Red fruit breaks through, holy crap. Getting raspberry, getting a little bit of cherry. And then the plum and the blackberry, those all come through. I was hoping for a touch of pepper, I'm not getting any pepper. I am getting that herbaceousness though, and a little bit of that pyrazine, very earthy. Uh, it is a full body wine. Medium on the alcohol, medium plus on the acid. Tannins, tannins are probably about medium on the tannins. Slightly rough, they're not gritty, they're not grainy, they're just they're just rough. It's not like drinking a pillow, but it's not like drinking gravel. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Finish is about a medium finish. Yeah, this is this is kind of about what I expected. I was actually hoping for a little bit of black pepper, but it didn't come out in this wine. So let's take a look at well, the grading criteria. Uh, for balance, you're in balance. I think you're good. Length. Medium finish, half a point. Intensity, I am getting a lot of intensity on the primary fruit. I have some nice acid intensity. Not really getting any intensity whatsoever in secondary and tertiary, so I'm gonna give you half a point. And from complexity, I'm getting red fruit, I'm getting black fruit. I'm getting a little bit of secondary notes with some of that coffee, that vanilla, a little bit of that overall kind of like baking spice. I said nutmeg, I could totally be wrong about that. And as for tertiary, I am getting a little bit of tertiary with the earth and a slight little bit of a wet leather effect going on. Um, but you know what? It, it's not very pronounced on the tertiary. Um, so, <clears throat> Jacob's Creek, Barossa Valley Reserve Shiraz, or Shiraz. What am I gonna reach you? <sighs> well, adding it up. I'm gonna give you a good. I, I'm gonna give you half a point in complexity, I forgot to mention that, but you're at two and a half points to three points. I'm gonna give you good. Now, here's the deal is if you let this sit for a while and let it age and develop a little bit more of those tertiary notes, it will become a very good wine. So if you already have this, it's not gonna be that bad. But like I said in some of my other videos, a screw top, we're not quite certain how those age yet. So, I mean, if you have a nice steak lying around, this, this could be the best thing to pair with it at the moment. Add black pepper to your steak will enhance this, just saying. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2017 Barossa Valley Reserve Jacob's Creek Shiraz or Shiraz? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. I purposely tried to talk as fast as I could in this after to see if you could keep up. If you can, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you later.